Boy, was I glad to see that waterfall. Yeah, we were getting kind of nervous down there. Sorry, the welcoming committee was a little strict. Come on, let's get inside. finds all this silence freaky, right? This place is dead. Definitely strange. Though I imagine you might be relieved to have a little quiet right now, huh? I was almost expecting, I don't know, another huge boss battle or something when we got in here. Yeah, the admin definitely seems to like those. But nothing. Don't be fooled, guys. If it's this quiet on our way to depower the admin, then it's gotta be a trap. Well, I'm not seeing anything trappish yet, but I'll keep an eye out. down, Ocelots. Lucas! Looks like the tables have finally turned, huh, Jesse? We can't let you keep doing what you're doing. That... that's enough. Oops! S -s Sorry. Oh, man. I am loving that you brought the Ocelot jackets back. You guys look so cool. It's not just about looking cool, Jesse! It's a symbol for the people of Beacon Town to rally around in our rebellion. Against... you. No. Hang on, everyone. No. It's our turn to talk. Not yours. Not anymore. I reformed the Ocelots because I wanted to remind everyone of how things were before. And most of all, I wanted to remind you. No, but... Because the Jesse I know wouldn't be running around on some power trip locking people up. Lucas! So yeah, I set your prisoners free. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah! our builds were ugly. Wow, I am so glad you guys are all free. I didn't do any of this. What are you talking about? You were laughing, gloating as you teleported people away. Everything you think I've told you since I came back from the Ice Palace was a lie. The admin locked me in a prison underground, took my identity, came back here, and pretended to be me. That is... no. How do we know this isn't a trick? No trick, friend. And it's not the first time. My friend Voss, the admin did the same thing with him. Yeah, we saw the whole thing. Is this really true? All those horrible things you did that... That wasn't really you. Okay. Yeah. It's you. Well, now that we have that sorted out... What in the world are we gonna do next? Wait, why are you even in here? We're trying to get to something called the Terminal. We have a... a... word of passage. <laughs> potato! That we can apparently use to take away the admin's powers for good. Yeah, a lot of that was way over my head, especially the potato, but... I'm in. You just lead the way, and the new ocelots will have your back. Well, would you look at this? Romeo's quite the Jesse memorabilia collector. I know we don't have much time, but it might be smart to suit up properly. Agreed. Flashy, but ferocious. 
Mantium and Pervium. Don't fail me now. Now you look like you're ready for a showdown. Agreed. Aw, oh, thanks, guys. Time to end this. Ocelots! Oh! Okay, if I were a terminal, what would I look like? Why, hello there. Wasn't expecting you. Oh, crud. What's the move here, Jesse? Maybe you are confused, but this is my office. Heard there might have been people trying to break in, so here I am. Ocelots, charge! Excuse me? Nope, 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 nope. Big nope! What? Where are they? Where'd they go? Ugh, I am so upset that you're back. That wannabe ninja Ivor told me you were still in the Sunshine Institute. Hearing that made me feel great. This? This makes me feel... Ugh, bad. Uh, come on, who are you talking to? That dumb prison of yours couldn't hold me. Oh, you smug, arrogant, insignificant! What, pray tell, are you hoping to accomplish by challenging me? I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm just a touch more powerful than you. I know. That's why I'm not here to fight you. I want to talk this over. Jesse, ah, uh, Jesse. Ugh. Talking it out? What's the point in that? That's what losers do. Real people, awesome people, settle their differences with... with... combat. Dueling! Build-offs! Sounds like that's the perfect thing for us to be doing, then. Loser. Did you... Really? Seriously? I'm having a hard day, too, you know. <sighs> well, you know what? It's just as well you're back. Because being Jesse is the worst! Oh, yes! Yes, I said it! I hate being you! Your, your people, your friends, they're so needy, so clingy! I have to listen to their stupid voices day after day after day, just asking for things. I, mean, I, I thought being Jesse meant that people would do what I wanted to do. No one ever asks what I want! Ah, oh, it's all, can I have iron and can I have gold? And what are they using all that stuff for, anyway? Yeah, that's not how being a leader works. That's just selfish. <sighs> yes, well, it's terribly disappointing, is what it is. It's just... Well, it was fun at first. I'd show them some super amazing display of my awesome powers. They'd laugh. I'd laugh. But soon they were just asking me to do that all the time. You know, you know what's funny? You've made me see something. You know, it, it's starting to feel like maybe I should just leave being Jesse to you. You know? <laughs> the, the, the genuine article. <laughs> yeah, but maybe that is the best way to proceed. I'm really glad you think so. Because I think that's a good idea. Oh, thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. Well, this has all been terribly enlightening, and I, I think we've all learned some great lessons here that I will totally remember for next time. Next time? Yeah, the next world I build after I bedrock over yours. Oh, I'm going to get it totally right with that one. No! A whole new set of people. A whole new world. Oh, I'll be a great leader, a great friend next time around. I should thank you for all these, these wonderful little lessons you've helped me to learn. Oh, maybe, 
Maybe I'll have more fjords in the next one. <laughs> oh, I love a good fjord. Romeo, please. Give this world another chance. One more chance. Could. Would love to. But won't. Shan't. This way's easier for me. Oh, well. <laughs> Toodles! Oh, this doesn't seem good. You guys are okay. Yeah. He just blipped us back to the hallways again. Such a... Ooh. Such a jerk. Take his powers away. Find the terminal space. The roof. That's where the admin keeps his portal to the terminal thing. Go! Come on. We need to get to that portal before the bedrock closes up. here yeah but we don't know where here is The trip down memory lane is nice and all, but how do we find the primary terminal thingy? There is so much stuff in here. Yeah, kind of hard to make sense of it all. Hashtag potato451! It was, uh, it was a good thought, but... Uh... Password protocol initiated. It's him! Oh, it's just more of his stupid recordings. You've selected password protocol. Oh, it's like an automatic assistant or something. Welcome to Terminal Space. Well, shall we? So, wait, he has this whole assistant thing set up, but only he ever comes here? The automated personal assistant system was developed to aid the mighty admin in menial tasks and help his friends navigate the terminal space. Man, so when he first made all this, he was still hoping his friends would come here too. Kind of makes me feel bad for him, actually. Nobody ever said it was... Is 
enter your password to begin a new program. I... that was all over my head. Password, password, password. That must be the word of passage. Hashtag potato451. Is this thing and what does it have to do with potato 451 it's empty waiting for material request I mean it must be talking about the potato right sounds right to me uh potato please acquiring Potatoes! Items dispensed. Thank you! Wait, two potatoes? Yeah, a normal one and a poisoned one. Which one do we use? I mean, the word of passage didn't say anything about poison. But it did have that weird hashtag thingy. That might mean something. Oh, I don't think that symbol ever actually means anything. Huh. Gotta figure out which one is correct. Hmm. Don't think that's exactly right. Guess we need to put something in there to get this thing going. And there we go. I still need to enter the rest of the word of passage. Won't know if this is right or not till I do. Sounds like progress, right? Was that a good thud or a bad thud? It's... Fred? Sara, hi. If you're seeing this recording, well, I guess the worst has happened. And you just put the word of passage into the primary terminal. I wish the terminal could just take away Romeo's admin powers. It'd be easier that way. But making this gauntlet was the best I could do. Put your hand into the pedestal to receive the gauntlet. It's got the power to make Romeo normal again. It might take a few hits to remove his powers entirely, but it'll get the job done. Do you understand? Then good luck, Sara. You're... Well, I think you might need it. Here goes nothing. What do you think you're doing? What's happening? We're here to stop you, Romeo. Once and for all. I told you. Your world's done. No take that! <laughs> Jesse, hurry. Your 
don't know what you're playing at. But it ends now! now! I said it ends now! What? What? Come on! Oh, you, you think you're very clever, don't you? Well, how about we finish this with a little change of scenery? Temple. Kalu Kale, Jesse. Remember when we first met? Oh. That was back when I thought we could still be friends. Yeah. Huh. Figures. This temple, this challenge, was my first gift to you. Now, it's going to be where I bury you. <laughs> Running out of platform, Jason. Ah! Nowhere to run. Stupid gauntlet! 
The games are over, Admin. Cue it up! Oh, I am going to... Ah! Ah, you don't... Don't touch me! Touch me! Ahoy there, Jesse! Jack! <laughs> uh... Care for a dance with the Velvet Tornado? No. Oh, you wouldn't attack old Jack, right? Not after everything we've been through together. There's just one problem. You're not Jack! Maybe not. But it's certainly a nice form to use when I destroy you!